Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Dollar Tree Thursday. So excited this week because I found a bunch of wish list items that were on my list to be crossed off and I found some new items so I'm super excited. Always have pictures at the end for y'all so make sure you stay tuned for that. And I have a funny story for um, one of the things that I picked up. So if you want to see what I picked up this week from Dollar Tree, stick around. All right y'all, so the first thing that I got was more of the Old Orchard Healthy Balance juices. Now I didn't pick up a bunch last week because I didn't know if the kids would like it because I've gotten some in the past from the Healthy Balance and Trey in particularly didn't didn't like them so I got the cherry one again and also the blueberry blueberry pomegranate one and they really liked it they are healthy guys they're really good they do not have much sugar they have five grams of sugar for every eight full ounces and 25 calories so you cannot go wrong there they do have all the different types of juice in the back so it is like good it's just sweetened with Splenda. So these are a really good product and I will pick them up as long as I can find them at Dollar Tree. All right, I've been using my reusable bags. So yay, Nicole, for doing good and using those reusable bags and not killing the environment. So I have all my reusable bags here that I'm gonna go through. And the first thing that I'm gonna show y'all is something that I've been on the hunt for for a while. And I was so excited that they had all of them. So yes, I got the cutting boards, the fruit cutting boards. Finally, they have the lemon ones that are so darn cute. They have the little knife, which I don't care about the knife. I just want the little cutting board. They are not like super strong. As you can see, they are a little flimsy guys, but I am going to be using these for cutting up like strawberries and bananas and stuff for Waylon and for myself. So I picked up not one, but another one to put in my giveaway that I'm going to be doing at the end of July for you guys. And I also found the apple one and I got one for myself and also one for the giveaway. Love the apple one. It's probably my favorite of the three, but the lemon one is pretty darn cute. So there's the other apple for y'all. And then I also got the strawberry one. I did not get the strawberry one for me. I thought I would love the strawberry one. I heard a lot of people talk about it. I didn't see it, but I actually like the other two better. So I got you guys the complete set. So this will be going in the giveaway at the end of next month. Next thing that I saw were these and guys I have pictures at the store and they had tons of all the different storage and all the different containers and stuff. I was just blown away by how much they had at one time from last week. That's why I always say guys, you got to get in there every week because my Dollar Trees anyway are different every single week as you see on these hauls. I got the vegetable and dip container with lid. Now it is just a container. It has the little dipping container built in with it. I thought that was perfect because Waylon is in the routine of wanting to dip like ketchup and different things here lately. So I thought these would be perfect for him. So they had them in different colors. I got two of the blue ones. I think he's gonna love these guys. Last week you saw me haul these and I got these for the hubby because he loves Mike and Ike's and he loved these Sunday sweet ones. So my store had a lot more. Last time I went, they only had one box. They were restocked. So I picked up two for the hubby. I went chapstick crazy because this was on my wish list. I saw my girl Mrs. Black Gold haul these a couple weeks ago and I love just plain old chapstick. I I think it's the best lip product. I've tried so many chapstick, different types of lip balms from all these different beauty boxes. And this is the one that always does it for me. I put it on at night and my lips are so silky smooth in the morning. So when I saw these new scents that she hauled, I said, I've got to get them. They were on my wish list. First off, Aloha Coconut. I like coconut. Y'all, if you've been with me for a while, you know I like coconut. And when they had it in the chapstick for a dollar, I'm sure you can get these at Walmart for like a dollar or less too, but y'all know I'm always in the DT. And then I got the green apple. I love an apple scent and I got one for me and I got one for a friend. And if you're watching, you know who this is because you love apple just like me from the very beginning. And I got an extra Aloha Coconut for the giveaway. I found the Sassy and Chic Brush On Nail Glue. I've been using the fake nails like crazy and I absolutely love them guys. The fake nails, the Sassy and Chic fake nails from Dollar Tree are the bomb. Please give them a try. I was skeptical at first too, but they are so, so good and last forever. I do have the regular Sassy and Chic Just Glue On, which works great, but I've seen so many people hauling this brush on nail glue, which they say is way better, so I'm glad to be able to try that guy out. I got Waylon a nightlight. This is the Mickey and Roaster Racers. They have a ton of different nightlights at my DT right now, and he is obsessed with Mickey Mouse. Anytime he sees Mickey, like in the beginning of the Disney movies where they have the like old school Mickey with the nautical theme come on, he points 
points to it and he starts talking. He just loves Mickey Mouse. So I thought he would love that for his bedroom. All right, Stevie, here you go, girl. I found one of the Star Wars wall decals and they had a lot at my store. So let me know if you need more than one because I can go back and get another one. But these are the ones that say the force is strong with this one and it's got the little characters on there. So super cute, Stevie, I'll be sending this in friend mail to you, girl. Every single week I rave about Ibotta and how you could submit the rebate to get these for absolutely free or for 25 cents depending on your Ibotta app. So on my Ibotta app, they are a dollar off of two. So when I submit my receipt, I get $2 back every single week. I've been doing this for almost a month now. My mother-in-law loves this Nesquik, so I've been stocking her up so she does not have to buy any. Guys, check your Ibotta and see if you have the rebate. A dollar or 75 cents will make this for a great deal. I'm going to leave my referral link for Ibotta down below. If you have not signed up for Ibotta, you can click that link and it will take you there. I think if I get so many people to sign up, I get something for it. I don't even know because I've never done it before, but I'll leave it down below if you're interested in Ibotta and getting free items. I found the Progresso chicken stock. Yay, because I bought the ones from Dollar Tree to make my chicken and dumplings this week, which I will be posting that Foodie Fridays on Friday morning. I've already done that, but I've seen so many people haul this progresso cooking stock with chicken and it says made like homemade simmered with real bones there's 32 ounces in here I've said this on my I think before last week when I talked about chicken broth guys I can't get the great value for less than a dollar fifty so for progresso for a dollar sign me up I bought not just two but I got four of them because I'm constantly using these for cooking and they had plenty at my store so I might even go back and get some more because this is a great buy for the progresso brand speaking of progresso they also have the Progresso breadcrumbs. Now I use Progresso breadcrumbs. I've been buying them from Sam's. I'm kind of getting out of buying stuff from Sam's guys because I'm buying so much stuff from Dollar Tree and from different places. I just haven't had the need to go into Sam's which is great because it's saving me the $45 fee a year, right? So I don't think I need to go in there anymore. The Progresso breadcrumbs Italian style. You get 15 ounces in here which is not a bad deal. I love these breadcrumbs. They just got them this week at my store. I probably should have picked up more because they'll probably be out. All right y'all, I think I found my art alternative maybe to the birthday cake cookies. They have not been at my store for a while now. The birthday cake cookies are gone. So if you're still on the hunt for them, I don't think you're gonna see them unless your store is just super late with getting them in because my stores are not getting them anymore either. But these are the Bud's Best Candy and Cookies. And again, Mrs. Black Gold, guys, please go follow her. She's the bomb.com. She hauled these and I told her on her channel, I was like, well, these might be my new birthday cake cookies. I'm gonna let the kids in the hubby try these and see how they like them but they're just baked with coated chocolate candies, like little m and so you can't go wrong there. They're probably the bomb. I found more of the True Lemon, and this is a different flavor than I hauled last week. This is the Raspberry and Lemonade. Now, I'm not a huge raspberry fan, so at first I was like, should I get them? But I love lemonade, and the ones that I got last week, the Black Cherry and Lemonade, or Black Cherry Lime ones, they do not have a strong cherry flavor in my opinion. It's more of a lemonade or a lime flavor. So I like that. So I figured it'd be the same thing with these. And again, these are pretty pricey from what everybody's telling me. They also have floating around the True Lemon with the pitcher size. Somebody had commented last week saying that that is a great buy. So be on the lookout for this True Lemon and the True Lime at your Dollar Tree. I got some baking items. This is the Betty Crocker Bisquick Honey Butter Biscuits. I've hauled this from Dollar Tree before and it's pretty darn good. They haven't had them in a while so I got them because like I said they were super yummy and super buttery and honey like. I liked them. I also got the Betty Crocker White Chip Macadamia Nut Cookie Mix. Everybody and their mama is hauling this right now that I've seen on Dollar Tree videos. It is heavy from what someone else said as well. How many ounces do you get in here? You get 14 ounces in here, so I'm assuming it's from the chocolate chips and all. And we love white chocolate macadamia nut cookies. I always pick up the Restore's multivitamins at Dollar Tree. They're 100% vitamin C and D. Still have not seen the biotin gummies and the vitamin D gummies. They come around every once in a while and then they get wiped. So I just picked up another of the multivitamins. That's my tried and true. I got some notepads and some stickers. Now, I didn't see a lot of new stickers. I did take some pictures of ones that I saw at the end of the video that are really cute. So check out for that. But as y'all know, if you've watched some of my other videos, Waylon and now Trey is jumping on the bandwagon, is obsessed with Moana. I ha we have to watch Moana every single day. Uh, the struggle is real, but I really like this movie, so I can't complain. Even watching it a million times, it's not getting old to me. I like the song, so 
it's all good. So I picked up these, these stickers for Waylon. Every time he sees Moana, he's, I don't even know what he's saying, but he loves her. So I picked up those for him. I'm looking for, if y'all watch at the end of the video, they have all the tableware, not, they have just like the bowls and like the sandwich containers for Moana, but I'm looking for the big dividing plates for Moana. They have all the different characters and I took pictures of those. So look for that if you're looking for like Ninja Turtles Frozen and um, Paw Patrol, they had those. I got these magnetic, um, Fridge pads are magnetic notepads, and this one says, follow your arrow. I love arrows. I'm obsessed with them right now, so I got that one. And I also got this one for the giveaway that says sweet, and it's got cute little ice cream cone on there. I just thought that was adorable. They had a lot of different new ones. I took pictures at the end of the video and little bitty ones that you might be interested in, so stay tuned. I got another Mickey nautical bag for my girl Elizabeth. She's been on the hunt for this and cannot find it. And let me tell you, girl, my store had a million of them. So again, let me know if you need another one because they had a ton. And I love the one that I picked up last week, so this one is going to her and friend me. I got a ton of picture frames, and because I have so many pictures that I need to go ahead and frame that I've just been putting off and I have gotten so much done the past couple days I'm so excited because I put things off forever guys y'all comment down below if you're a procrastinator I'm usually not but when it comes to certain little things I always put it off because more things are important but I got a bunch of these picture frames to put in frames now I hauled those pretty ones that looked like they were from Michael's and I have Waylon's baby pictures in them five by seven and they look so beautiful I'm gonna have to put that on Instagram so you can see how pretty they look with pictures in them on the shelves they look so expensive and they were a dollar I got more of these though I like these ones that look like they have the mat behind them the white I just think that's really pretty these just have the silver framing and I got this for Waylon's big 8 by 10 baby pictures from the hospital. Yes, he's almost two and I don't have all his baby pictures framed. Yes, I, bad mom, I know. Then I got this one that has, again, the mat. It's just the black and it's a three and a half by five. Trey took spring pictures and I never did frame his spring picture, so I need to put that in there. I also never framed our Christmas family picture that I just love and I want to see it so I need to put it in there and this is just like the little one I just showed you, but it's a five by seven. They also have these big ones with the mat in the black and brown and gold and the silver like you saw in the 8x10 too. And I just got this regular 8x10 black one to put a picture of Trey that I've had because I have one from his two-year-old pictures and I'm gonna put his three-year-old pictures even though he's four about to be five. Yes, I know, but they're gonna match. So I got that. A few more things, guys. I was so excited to see these because they've been on my wish list for so freaking long. These are the doormats, the one that says welcome and I just got this brown one. I thought it's so, so cute floor mat right there to go by the front door. Now they're very thin. They're not gonna be sturdy, but guys, for a buck, you cannot beat it. And they also had the black one, which I was happy to see. So they had both of them. And my store just got these. Like I said, I've seen people haul these months ago, but my store finally got these two guys. So these will be going by my front. I picked up a box to send friend mail out to Angel's Haven. Girl, I'm gonna be sending you those candles, but I didn't have a box, so I needed to get this I found you. this little bitty caddy, guys. And this is by the arts and crafts section by the paint. And I didn't get it for that in particularly. I got it for Waylon to put like put crayons and different things in it because it's super little and he can carry it to the table when he wants to color. He loves to color. And they're just like, kind of like the big caddies that I hauled before, but they're little bitty ones. So if you have any other ideas, like you can put like bathroom stuff, maybe their toothbrush and stuff. I don't know, but I just thought they was really cute and I hadn't seen these little ones at my store. So if you have some organization ideas, definitely go check your Dollar Tree for these little bitty guys. All right, y'all, last but not least, I got the entire set of the candles. Now, here's the funny story that I was telling you about in the beginning of the video. So for these candles, I've been looking for these since I've been seeing so many people haul them and I've been seeing people haul one or the other since. And I didn't see them at my store, just plain old candles that they've been having. But then I saw a cart just randomly laying in the middle of the main action aisle. And y'all know at Dollar Tree when they have the boxes, they always have the pictures of whatever's in the box on the outside. And I saw the picture of one of the candles on the outside and I was like, hold the phone, I'm opening these bad boys right now because I saw the whole collection on the cart. And my store has been so in need of stockers and cashiers that has help wanted on the front of their store. So that's why things have been coming a little bit late to my main store. So I went ahead and opened them. And it was funny because I went to the register the lady that was stocking was also running the register. That's how short staffed they are. And she's like, wait a minute. Um, 
did you get these off the shelf? I said, no, I actually got them out of the box on, on the cart over there. Is that, a, I hope that's okay. I was like, I put everything back nice and neat. And she's like, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going crazy because I wanted to make sure that I didn't put those on the shelf already because I know I didn't. So she thought she was going insane, but no, I just went ahead and opened it up. Now I found the Ruby Guava and it just, it doesn't have notes on it. But all these smell really good, guys. I don't know about the throw. If you've burned these and you know about the throw, please comment below and let me know because I might just use them for decoration if the throw is not good. But I just love all these ombre effects on these candles. Look how pretty. The red to the blue. Love that. I got the Tropical Mango. This one smells really fruity. Like I said, they all smell good. Orange or yellow to orange. And then they had the Pina Colada, which smells the bomb. Yeah, this one smells really good. I like this one a lot. And it's got the cute little pineapple on there and the ombre effect. Love that. And last but not least, I found the Island Hibiscus. Now this one and Pina Colada probably smell the best to me out of the four in the set, but this one's just really, really pretty. So these are the four that are in the collection. Let me know if there's any more, but these are the ones that were on the card and I'm pretty sure there's only four. So I picked up all these. They are three ounces. And again, right, let me know about my Dollar Tree haul for this week. Give it a thumbs up if you love these Dollar Tree hauls and hit that subscribe button if you're not with me already because I do a Dollar Tree haul every single Thursday and lots of other Dollar Tree theme things here on the channel and lots of ways to save you money. So hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a video on Thursday nights. And always stay tuned for the pictures at the end of the video to see what I did not get because there's a lot of cute items that I always pass up because I might not be in the need or want them right now. All right, guys, until next week with another Dollar Tree haul, thank you so much for watching and always giving me the love and support here on the channel. I totally appreciate it. Love you guys so much. Have a great night. Bye.